Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis on server 68. So today, uh, it's been about 24 hours, the auction house, or well, more than that, but 24 hours since I actually really looked at it for my video. So I've uh, played around with it, bid on some stuff, assessed what the values are, and I just wanted to break this down for you. One thing that, so I do think Ebony uh, dropped the ball a little bit on this, but I do think there's good value in it if you know what you're looking for. So uh, I'm going to tell you my thoughts and I'll, I'll assess some of the past bids and we'll go there. So uh, first thing, looking at the common goods, nothing here is really worth it to me, in my opinion, like uh, resources. I get that from working hard, joining rallies or gathering. So I'm not going to pay gems for that. I'm just not. And the speed ups, although the speed ups are a good value when you compare it to the buildings, they're not selling very often. So if you look here, you can see uh, unsold items and lots of the stuff isn't really selling. So it right there, actually it did show, but here's some speed ups, unsold, and they are good value, actually, that's 60 days. I, I can't remember what that goes up for, but it is just under the cost if you were to go over to a building click on it and see how many gems that would take for insta finish so right there basically you can uh, look at that and that's a day and a half and it's almost 3,000 gems and uh, you can I think 25 days is about 40,000 gems so if you look at that and assess that that's about the type of price you should be paying but unfortunately the auction starts just under that so if someone bids it up on you one or two times, it's no longer a good price and you should just get out. If you're the only bidder, it's a good price for the speeds. But again, I recommend not doing that and just joining some rallies and getting those speeds and then saving your gems and using them for more difficult things in the game. Now, looking at other things in here, basically in common goods, you're not gonna find much good much uh, value the only things i would say that are very valuable are these these 50 percent buffs for 10 minutes these are good because they're a rare item you can't get this anywhere else in the game the only way you can get these is in purchase packs so these are good you you can't assess the value on those in my opinion so they have good value general experience and monarch experience i guess uh you know that's just up to you if you're close and you need something do it but general experience why would you ever pay for that when you can uh level up on an npc level up in battlefield like there, there's just no reason to pay for general experience in my opinion monarch experience yeah like uh you can buy is it, uh, I, I, let me look and see just so I know the exact bid uh, item here that is for sale for Monarch Experience. Here it is right here. So 400,000 for 19,400. In my, so this is uh, Jay Parkey actually from my server. That's an alliance. I've noticed them, uh, old alliance from my original server aod they are very active in the auction i've seen them bidding on lots of stuff so if you need four hundred thousand uh va or monarch experience points that's a decent price i've seen those the same things go for 30 40 000. i've been watching the prices so nineteen thousand four hundred is the opening bid on those i believe and it's the best price you'll get and me even my alliance got that the other day and i thought it was you know i didn't know and then I saw it go for much, much higher many times. So I guess that is the best price you'll get. Now, the rare goods. In my opinion, there's only three things really worth buying on the black market. Well, four actually. These, uh, these super buffs. And then, so unfortunately, none of them are here right now. But let's, so Tactic Scrolls, this is the exact same price as the black market. It costs 1K for one scroll. So there's no reason to buy them here. No reason to bid at all. And nobody's bid on it. So bad by you, Ebony. Same with these treasure boxes. They cost the exact same in the black market. No one is bidding on them. March buffs. Uh, so the only way to really get these you can go into the battle shop and buy them 
And let's look at that price actually, 50%, 50,000 gems for a 200% buff. We go over here to special item. And so you can buy a 300% buff at the bottom for 25,000 gems for five minutes. So there's no reason to do the other one. I know it lasts an hour, but uh, I personally just don't think it's worth it uh, based on that value. You'll get them in from other packs. You'll get them from events uh, such as World Boss. I, I don't think it's worth it. I guess in a pinch, if you don't have anything, then you can. And looking at those other ones, actually, uh, I'm going to take back what I just said because these are 9,000 for 75% buffs. And right here, 13,500 for 50%, but you get five of them. So that's the trade-off. You do get five, but you're getting less. So it's, it's still sounding like a good deal but not a great deal anymore when I compare it to that. Now, if we go over to rare goods, so the items that I do like, I'm gonna show you right now. I do like these rune stones. 500, it, the opening bid is 50,000. So 500 for 50,000. And the reason I like them is, if you look here, you get 10 for 25. If we go to the old calculator here, all right, not sure if you can hear the screaming in the background, but uh, sorry if you do. So you get 250 gems to get one and multiply that by 500. 125,000 is in the regular black market. So uh, getting out of there and going into the auction, going into the auction, and you can see that some people, I think I saw it go for, so right here you got, 55,000, 60,000. Uh, I saw another one go for, I think it was about 90,000. And that's about the top end. Yeah, right here. This guy, this is Commander Moon, who uh, starred in an earlier video of mine. He paid 90,000. I'm very sure I watched him up it from 65,000 right to 90. So he did go overpriced a little bit based on what the other ones have gone for. But in my opinion, still good value as it's under the 125,000 number that you should should be your maximum you would pay. Personally, for me, rune stones, I won't pay gems for them because I can buy generals in the tavern and sell them and get rune stones. So I could convert gold into rune stones quite easily. So I'm just not going to pay gems for them. Now the other items that I do like. There is two items in particular and let's get into them. I got outbid on one of them. I just got busy in real life so I had to log on and couldn't keep bidding but right here same guy Commander Moon Man uh, 110,000 for 100 dragon stones. There's just no way to get dragon stones except in purchase packs. So if you go up here into purchase packs you're gonna get 10 if you spend five dollars right so you get other stuff with it too but there's no other way to assess how much dragon stones are worth because there's no way to get them in the game except in battlefield other select events and in purchase packs so in my opinion that's a pretty good value 110,000. i was watching it and i was gonna bid i don't know how high i would have went I, I feel 110 120 130 that's about the maximum i would pay for these but it is a good value i think and then the final item that i do think is really good value right here so if you look here you can see i was bidding all the way against commander moon and he's a tough guy to beat so kept uh, upping me and then someone just came right over the top on both of us 200,000. Now my opinion is I would probably pay somewhere between 120 and 150,000 gems for 25,000 VIP points. Um, this person paid 200. I totally understand why he would because there's actually only one way to get VIP in the game and that is you make a purchase in the game and you get 1,000. You buy the 99 pack, you get 25,000. So you get a lot of value in buying those VIP points. Um, so keep an eye on those, but don't go crazy. Like if someone wants to outbid you, they want to outbid you. 
So yesterday's ring, I wasn't online for how much it went for, but I heard it was around 3 million gems. And to me, that is just crazy because the way I would assess how much the ring and this bow are and this helmet how much and the boots, how, how much I would pay for these is based on how many gems I would get in purchase packs by spinning Taisha's wheel. So if you look at Taisha's wheel, this isn't Taisha's wheel. If we look over here, I spun 1,000 times. I think it took me about 1,100 spins last event to get 30 fragments. And that's about 1 million gems, the equivalent that it cost me to make those spins. Now, if you look at your packs and see this pack has 25,000 gems, but 50,000 because I bought it twice, right, with the double coupon. So I would count up how many packs it would take to get 1 million gems and how many gems are left over. That's how many gems I should spend on that, on that ring because I should just be buying packs and using those gems or the equivalent of them to roll, right? The old glitch told an actual gem amount. It was 10,000 gems to spin 10 times or 1,000 to spin once. So that's the equivalent of how I would assess that. Now this city, wow, look at it. It's up to 26 million. I think I predicted it would go 30 or 40 or 50 million. And I still think it's going to go high. We got a guy from our server bidding on it, Enigmatic68. Uh, and then there's this guy at the top right now, Chevy from 474. And you can see they've just been going back and forth. Uh, looking at the earlier bids, I was looking at opening up with uh, somewhere around five or six million and just see what happened. And by the time I woke up, it was already like 20 million. So uh, no chance to do that. Rhythm right here at the bottom there. He opened, he had uh, 6.6. .6. He's uh, one of the top players. Ichiro, I recognize that name as well. And uh, so lots of good players want this. And of course, why wouldn't you? 35% range attack, 20% range HP, 15% research speed. Like This is going to go for a lot. This is a sub too. So to me, you can't put value on it. You can't put a price on this because there's no other way to obtain this. Maybe it'll be released in Shalon someday, like uh, the Roman one was. Now, looking at uh, this one, this is a cool keep. Uh, I think it's good. I, I don't know what this will go for. Because I would think, honestly, it, wouldn't, it would not go for as much as that German subsidy. But anyone who loses out on that German subsidy is going to have gems left over. And they're probably going to throw it on St. Michael's Castle. So I would think this would go for less. I think it would go for 12 to 15 million. But I think it's going to go for a lot more. Plus, it looks cool. Uh, the aesthetics of having that as your keep. Uh, people are really going to want that. And this March effect, I really don't get this. This is uh, this this has got to be Ebony just trolling everybody. So let's take a look and see if there's anything here, any good values for people to put bids on. So source of life, no one's bidding on these because this is the exact same price. So you're going to get 100 source of lifes for 50,000. So that's 500 per. I think it might be 1,000 per in here actually. So yeah, so it's 1,000 per. So that is half price. So I guess if since it's SVS, you might start to see these get bid on as people are getting hit. So I'll keep an eye on that. But anyways, that's my advice on here. Just to recap, buy Dragon Stones, buy VIP points, buy the Super Buffs and Rune Stones. Everything else, forget about it. Just let stuff go unsold, let Ebony know no one wants it. All these unsold items, good Ebony, take them all back. In my opinion, all these items should start at zero and let us bid it up. Why are they putting an opening bid? It should all be zero. Uh, uh, one thing I, I'm going to keep an eye on over the weekend because I can stay awake also is different time zones. Is it better because I think more, most of the players are North American? Is it better the prices? Can you get better prices when North America sleeps? So at 3, 4 a.m., can you sneak in there and get some VIP points for 
60,000, something like that. I don't know. Can you? Let me know in the comments if you guys like any of the other items. Uh, what do you think of this uh, Romans or this uh, German sub? I think this is awesome. I just want to see how high it goes. So like, subscribe, leave a comment.